I really do feel like a radio host now, bro. Yeah, now it feels better, right? I feel like a radio yeah, host. Hold up, get that. Get, yeah, that little part right there because the sun hey, is setting. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I think that's a little better. Let me see what we got here. All right, bro. So, what's up, man? How you been? Well, you know, it all started back in. <laughs> back in? I don't know what I was going to do. You know, just started talking. I didn't realize my mind. Like, my mouth was moving. My mind wasn't, like, at it's the same there. rhythm. So, I was like, I don't know where I'm going with this. Well, let me tell you a little story. Ooh, I got two stories this week. Oh, really? Before we begin this podcast, I want to talk about. Ooh. Something. First was not that, uh, I guess, entertaining, but, you know, uh, you heard this new app called TikTok? Uh-huh. Have you? Yeah, it's like, like you the know one what's it about. videos and like weird stuff. Yeah, okay. So, I get the app, right? Ooh. And I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me start throwing out some, you know, I'm down videos there. And, okay, so let me let me try to read this because so I'm, I'm throwing down videos, right? And I'm not a lie, but, uh, you know, using, like, I guess certain hashtags, look at that, using, like, certain hashtags and stuff like that, you get, uh, you get, like, I guess, I want to say pretty good responses, not, like, Instagram, but you get, like, some, you know, I see, like, some people commenting, some visibility. Like that. Like some people are like, hey, you know, good job, right? All right, yeah. So, I'll tell you what the comments are. So, so, the first comment was, awesome song, awesome job, right? I, I, did I put a song to this? I don't think so. Uh, I don't know why he said that. Actually, I probably <laughs> did put a song to that. I don't, I don't remember. Awesome song. A, a girl said brilliant. You know, like, it, it's, it's some dope yeah, stuff. Some encouraging stuff. Right. So now this this user under the name Daniel underscore Swen Wheaty 126. So off bat, you already know that's some bullshit mm-hmm. as username. He goes, so freaking cute. Your smile is just so awesome. It makes me smile too. But Talking what I found, well, I mean, he, he said in the comments, but the thing is that it's both of us. So it's in this video, in this video of of this. So as I put oh, quit my super thing, yeah. you know, the, the conversation we have. So it's both of us in, in this video, but he, we, we didn't smile at all in that. in that. So I don't know why he would. I, I would just say him is because this is his, his profile yeah. pic. A super blurry, like horrific, you know. Instagram, yeah, uh, Google yeah. picture. Yeah, I mean, this guy has zero followers, zero mm. like zero everything. Yeah. So you know, and mind you, TikTok is like super brand new. So mm-hmm. uh, I saw that I, th- I think he put this yesterday, but I just saw it like this morning. I thought that was like the weirdest thing I've is, is, is that like <laughs> I've when, seen in a comment thus far. Is that like when girls like comment on each other's pictures? Is that what the kind of is? Like you just throw uh, like you know when a girl like just throws hard faces right, right so the other girl will repeat the same thing on her picture is that kind of like the same thing i guess but this one's very flirtatious <laughs> this is very flirtatious <laughs> you way? well i didn't because it was to both of us so it's not i can't really feel any type of way i mean just because i'm on the app he doesn't know i'm on the app like he doesn't know who's controlling what you know what i mean so he just sees two guys sitting down he'll comment <laughs> so freaking cute that's a little weird uh but you know whatever man you know that, that that's that's what happens when you open yourself up to social media. You, you get know, all you kinds get, of people. Yeah, you get those kind of things. You got to have to, like, you know, be accepting of it. Well, you, know? you get permission to people to talk and to say whatever they got to well, say. Well, yeah. Once you post it online, yeah. you kind of give everybody, like, uh, permission to, like, you know, mm-hmm. basically post their opinion yeah, yeah, and whatnot. Course, you know what I mean? So, yeah. I mean, it comes with the territory. Mm-hmm. You know, it is, I'm, I'm not tripping. I mean, if you think I your know, smile's man. cute or my smile's cute. I, we just didn't smile at all. So, that's why I thought was a little weird. I mean... I think he should have came from a better direction. You get me? Yeah. Like, like maybe, you know, since we're both sitting down and, you know, like your pants rise, maybe you could have complimented like like something about your legs, your thighs, leg day. your Wednesdays. bulge, something I mean, like I that. Skipped it this, wait, what do you mean your bulge? Yeah, yeah, because, you know, your, your shorts are rising. <laughs> maybe he uses imagination to see some <laughs> shape. Not, not about to start wearing, like, dresses. <laughs> well, words. I'm just saying, he, he could. I think he could have picked a better compliment. You know, maybe yeah. he would have got a response back. Yeah, so that's why like, I, I think his angle like, wasn't yeah, good. Like his angle didn't work out to what he yeah, was going yeah. If You know, he could have commented like you know skin hair yeah. something you know not smiles nobody smiles so it, it was a bad uh so if you listen to this daniel or whatever it, it wasn't too good you know it, it was it could have been a better a better shot next time next time yeah yeah well okay so that's that's first story second story so i'm watching this podcast uh joe rogan right mm-hmm. i think it was last year actually no this year this year he has this i forgot his name now but uh, so this guy, maybe you heard of it too. He worked in Area Fifty One, like way back when. Mm-hmm. I didn't watch it, but I know what you're talking about. You know, I, saw it, I saw it in the YouTube thing. And I was like, I'm gonna watch it next. But then you start watching different videos and you forget about it. It's them. really good. For real? And I know exactly what you're talking about because it happens to me all the time. I'll <laughs> usually put like a watch later, and you know, it comes up when it comes up. Oh, that's smart. You should watch I, it. I just be on that like, oh, I'm gonna watch it next. And then by the time I know, I end up watching like 700 videos and I forgot which one I was yeah, gonna yeah. watch next. Th- that happens to me, and then usually I get back to it because you know, like yeah. I have it like, oh, watch next mm-hmm. or whatever. Okay, so I'm watching this. So this guy, you know, he worked at Area 51. He talks about like, like, uh, like the things that he saw. Mm-hmm. So mind you, there's a lot of security protocol around right, this. Right. So 
It, it, so he couldn't talk like completely. About well, no, no, he did talk oh, very really? much completely. So he was a snitch. Uh, in a way, a, a, a little Takashi in here, you know, a little <laughs> Takashi <laughs> DNA here. You gotta get in trouble. Though. But uh, well, no, but him. this is old though. He's been snitched a long oh, time ago. Okay, it, okay. It, it's, so the whole thing with him is that since he's the only one who ever kind of really spoke out mm-hmm. on this, he got a lot of blowback because it's like yo, like nobody could really like. Like, you can't really even have, like, a witness there mm-hmm. to say, oh, yeah, what he's saying is true yeah. because everybody's kind of, like, being real quiet. But, I mean, you know, the government shit, you know, it's, it's serious. You got to keep it on the low. Right. Yeah. So, he, he, even, he even said, like, yo, a lot of people that knew him, like, the IRS had, um had I think, ran, like, what was the thing that the IRS do? That they run a audit, right? They audited, like, everyone that he ever knew. Like, you know, he made even the people that he knew's lives, like, you know, mm-hmm. hell. But, yo, the shit that he talks he talks about seeing, like, like spaceships, like, like and I'm talking about shit designed like for like smaller beings in in a sense like the, he didn't talk about no aliens but he says like the stuff that he saw pointed towards aliens it, well I mean he's we're, we're talking about like he said that the stuff that he was working on wasn't Ooh. even like it was impossible it, like it defied laws of physics and stuff like that but he's, it was his job to like try to research or whatever right he said that the way they had him is a, like a buddy system so he was only working with this specific guy. And he said, like, okay, so you know when two magnets are, like, trying to, like, come to, like, the opposites, mm-hmm. you know, it's, yeah, like, yeah. that force. Yeah, the force. So he's saying that you can't make that out of nothing. You get me? So I, I guess they had, like, this uh, thing called a reactor. And when you try to put your hand on I guess, like, when it turned on, you couldn't. It was, like, a, like that kind of force mm-hmm. there. He said like, that doesn't exist like right a now. Mag- like a magnetic force. Like a magnetic force. force, right? You can't make, like, a magnetic field. That was, like, the whole discussion. It, mm-hmm. it was crazy. He said that uh, there was about nine. So he only, he only worked on one and not even, like, he hit, like, on a piece of one. That's how secretive stuff was. And, um... Dude, like, th- if you read the whole thing, you start to really realize, holy fuck, like, are we, well, I, are I, we alone? I mean, you know, we've had this yeah. discussion many times. I, I know that government be hiding hella stuff, and the government knows everything, bro. Right, right. Like, you know, my brother's a Marine, so, yeah. you know, he'll tell a story sometimes, like, you know, uh, like, he doesn't say anything he does, because apparently that's, like, he can't say that. Right. But he'll be like, oh, you know, sometimes they interview, and they'll be like, oh, how's your brothers? How's, and they'll say you by then, how's Chris? How's Eddie? And it's like, Shit. shoot. Like then there's no everything. Right, like you don't even know. No, like, wait, 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 but they don't know what you guys are doing. No, do but, they? but they know like who your family is. Oh well, yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they like they know like for example, I think he told me, and he was like, oh, you know, your brother's in, in, in university. Like, in university. yeah, yeah, he's at he's at this university. You know, okay. your parents do this. Like, so they know. They, they know. know. Like, so it's crazy. if you guys are watching porn, they know the genre of porn that you guys are watching. Probably. Is that what you're <laughs> <laughs> so they know everything you're researching. Clear your history. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Uh, hey, no, I'm just asking. No, just asking. but like, <laughs> I don't but, know what they know. Well, they might like, know. Like, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know what's out there. You get me? But I wouldn't be surprised if there is something that that the government knows that we don't. You get me? Right, because right. government knows a lot. Of bro. course. Like they have resource that's crazy. Like I mean, CIA has so much power. You know, yeah. like it's insane. But I, I mean, just, uh, oh, on on that on the basis of that, you really start to think like, wow, like. Is there life beyond Earth? I feel like once you get to that point, you kind of start to question a lot of things, right? Yeah. I mean, so, you know, we grew up in church. Uh, one thing I always heard uh, was, we don't come from monkeys. You know, if you think you come from a monkey, that you just, you know, you know the stuff. Yeah, you know exactly what I'm talking about, too, yeah, and everything, yeah, right? Evolution thing. Right, right, right. So, I mean, I, I agree. You know, uh, again, you know, there's a lot of scientific research that goes back to how men first mm-hmm. was, and, you know, we technically don't know a lot of things, right? Mm-hmm. Like, we, like, Again, it, it's, it's, yeah. as far as your brain could go, whether you want to believe it or not, there's a lot of shit out there. Like, the food shit. Remember we were talking about one time, like, you yeah. said, oh, pineapples is good, pineapples is not good, this coffee shit causes cancer. Good. Coffee's this, not good. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So it's almost like, yo, yeah, you just gotta sure. go with, you yeah, know what I mean? whatever you feel, kind exactly. of. Exactly. So, the, um, you know, the, I, I didn't even know that I found this out through that podcast. So there's a primatologist. You know what that is? Mm-hmm. Like the study the, of like primates. The primates, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So, um, I mean, I, I, I knew that that exists. I just didn't know the word mm-hmm. for it, right? That's what I'm trying to say. And so they f- they photographed an orangutan, uh, was it spear fishing, trying to catch a fish with a spear, right? And there's also documented, like, uh, like, articles and stuff mm-hmm. like that right of uh, orangutans using sticks and stuff like that for certain fruits yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a f- certain food i guess that they eat that's like very spiky like in the in the front mm-hmm. and shit so they use sticks to open that shit up and eat what's inside so it, it's very like uh and, and these are wild orangutans yeah. by the way they're not like it's like not like somebody trained them trained, and shit like yeah. that this is them just yeah. figuring this shit out on their own 
So even that shit, you know, when you see shit like that, you like, holy fuck, like these motherfuckers are really starting to like, I guess, evolve, e- evolve you know what I'm saying? And, and use, I guess, their brain also for mm-hmm. certain things. So it, it kind of puts certain things into question. I mean, you know, um, I didn't know this. And, and it was um Charlemagne who, who put something up that I guess back in the day, um, the Bible has, I don't know how many, like pages, like 2000 mm-hmm. or some shit like that, right? Pages? Or, or depends, am I wrong? Yeah, but it depends on who, who, like, you know, what version you're reading. Or right? well, I don't remember which version it was, but apparently, like, back in the day, they, like, were slavery shit like that. Or, like, white people would. Well, the, the slave Bible. The slave Bible. There we the go. Like, Remove the bunch yeah, of shit well, to well, control. We went to the Bible Museum, right? Okay. Uh, they have slave Bibles. I don't know if you went through that part. Nah, because I, like, so. I think before you and Eddie and Noah showed up, yeah. I went through everything pretty much. Yeah, yeah, and they have a part where they show you slave Bible, and they took out anything that talks about freedom. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And it's like very limited. Yeah, yeah, because it, it was to control the the slaves. Right, right, which is crazy. Yeah. I mean, and, and you know, we know that for years and years, uh, religion's been used to control people. Right? Yeah, all kinds of religions. Yeah. And, and throughout yeah, throughout yeah. everything, I think like one of the first times that I saw that was when we were young. Uh, they played a. a, a that was it in church I think a movie Martin Luther the guy who's like oh, trying yeah, to like yeah. fight the Protestant Revolution right yeah, and it's yeah. like like the yeah, they burn him yeah. and yeah cause like trying to like you yeah, know defy he was, he certain was Catholic, things Catholic but he was like some of the Catholic practices weren't aligning with scripture itself right right right, right. Yeah. And, and so that's the first time I remember seeing like I guess religion really mm-hmm. tried to like control shit and I was like holy fuck like, that's they, in the summer camp right yeah, yeah, I, yeah I remember that I remember they back burned in the trailer him. yeah cause that like, exactly the shit that got me was that they burned the guy I was like holy shit like I mean, I, cause I, I, got, I was younger. I didn't really like know what they did to mm, motherfuckers back yeah. then. Cause I know that they used to do that to witches and shit yeah, like that, right? Burn people, behead people. Right, which is like burn them at the stake. Savage, yeah. you know. Like nowadays, it's like yo, you shoot somebody. You get me or mm-hmm. or what? Do they do even do the electrical chair anymore? I don't yeah. think so. Right. Yeah, so some, well, some states, some, some do, states do, right? Well, in the states, but in other places, people get. But yeah. you know, I, I think Alabama, and I don't know if it was, it was already finally canceled out or it's still technically in the in the law where people can still get rifled. <laughs> really like the they put yeah, it with shot yeah, like yeah, one bullet exactly. in like oh, holy fuck yeah so like you know some countries some states had some wild laws obviously now they don't practice them but right. technically they're still viable like they're still within there. their <laughs> yeah 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 holy shit so yeah. that, that's and like let's uh, not talk about different countries where people get beheaded and whatnot well you know? isn't that like uh, the same thing I was like well is there our 13th amendment or something like that I mean again I don't know too much about this that it's still something about slavery and like or well, there's a three fifth men yeah shit well three, the three fifth compromise that happened that was with votes right back in the days and and it was because uh, you know southern states were saying we have more population how come we don't get more votes so mm. the way of compromising right. was that three fifths of a, a person. So in that case, every of a black of man, a black or man, a black woman, right? So every three out of five kind of that's a vote, three right. fifth compromise, and and so that shows how this con- this country was so blind that the person wasn't even considered a full person, right? And that's in the amendments, yeah, so, right? Yeah. Like in the thirteenth yeah, or something. Like that. Well, they, they haven't even yeah, like they abolished it with the fourteenth, right? With the give you like you know equal rights uh, and blah blah. blah. Okay. But the touches they yeah, want to take it out, like they yeah, want to remove yeah. it. And so you know we have discussions. Like, we have discussion on the Second Amendment. Like, what does it mean to bear arms? Right, right, right. right. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Because people don't want to modify certain things. Yeah. But as far as um, religion, bro, religion has been used uh, to men's benefit for years. Yeah, yeah. Like, of course. you know, we talk about the Crusades. Crazy. Like, the Crusades were, were, you know, the church using their religious power to take over countries, to, to steal stuff from other people. Yeah, yeah. Right? Um, so that's why it leaves a bad taste in people's mouths. <laughs> All right. That's why it's so, like... Yeah, it's it's like a, a huge fight yeah. nowadays. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Well, those are two things that I had. Those are my two stories. I, I, we made a, a, a quite a bit of a conversation through them, right? That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, those are the two things that I saw today. That I mean, well, this week that I was like, shit, you know, like it was it was crazy to me. At least I was like, okay. I, I think in the in the sense of uh, the evolution. Part. Oh yeah, in the sense of aliens. Yo, you see that know. episode, man? Like, trust me, if you I'm watch the watching, episode, and honestly, w- watch it because you really, uh, you know, sometimes it takes you to see a man speak, right? And kind of just go through the motion of having that conversation for you to, to understand, like, like, cause they even said there's like, why would he make this up? It's kind of true. Like, yo, like it's too shit, much work to make it, it up. It's not only too much work; it's too much shit that he went through. Like, like the shit that happened yeah. to him is is like, yo, like having the government on your ass like it's that. It's like Snowden. It, like, what's that? The guy who put out the, you know, that they're basically. They were violating your your virtual rights and people. That government was like and all of your stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like and that so shit. you yeah. know, yeah. like yo, you're sacrificing your whole life. Exactly. So it better have some truth here. Right, right. Like, like it, it, it won't. Not, you know, if this is some crazy guy just talking shit, I don't think that they would like you know go through the links that they did. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's it's definitely crazy, man. Crazy, crazy. So what do y'all think? 
I don't know, man. Are they green? It's crazy out here. Do they have hair? Do they don't have hair? What's going on here? That's that's what I'm saying. Like all of that is I don't know. You, but you know, wh- watch the episodes. You kind of get not, like now that you mentioned that I'm gonna transition to something else. Okay. I was, I was the, now this happened. All right. So okay. George was saying, you know, in the last part of this episode uh-huh. or episode part two of this whatever episode, okay. we'll yeah, figure yeah. it out. Um, you know that you were saying that aliens and why would somebody make that up and mm-hmm. and so you know it's crazy to think that there's aliens. It's crazy to think that there's a lot of things, but people are crazy period right right, right. and so an idea is crazy until it isn't some right. people still think the earth is flat right right and they won't stop believing that until they themselves go to space and see maybe the earth is round right, right. but um so i was saying this story i'm gonna start again you know where somebody was from venezuela was telling me at work that their president promoted children raising chickens in their schools because there's lack of food he right. says that he does it and he can feed his whole family. Yeah. yeah. Which I obviously... With, is not, with just eggs. eggs. He says it's nonsense Insane. because he's a president. A he's, of, even though his whole country's starving, he's eating well, that's, right? That's a high cholesterol family but, right there. <laughs> but yeah. whatever. But the point was, I go, in that case, why don't they promote cannibalism? Mm-hmm. Right? Before that starts, there's a reason why I said this. Right? It's the hypocrisy of life is what I think it is. Is that every idea sees an extreme until it is not. Right? right? So tribes have been eating... People for life, forever, yeah. right? Yeah. People have been eating people forever. It's just that in a country like the U.S. that no one's really starving. Right. Like in the U.S., no one's really starving. If you're starving, it's because you want to starve. Mm-hmm. Because you, even if you were poor, you can go to a homeless shelter and they'll give you a sandwich. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. you can go to a restaurant behind the food. They'll drop away a bunch of waste. And you yeah, can eat yeah. all the food they throw away, right? There's not right. really necessity here like in other countries. Right. Right? So that sounds crazy here. Cannibalism is insane here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? But my, my argument was simple. You kill a cow and you eat it. Right. You kill a fish, you kill a whatever Chicken, you want, whatever. whatever you name it. Uh-huh. People, eat, people eat ox, people eat right. ostrich, people eat all kinds of birds, all kinds of mammals, all kinds of nonsense, right? Right. Why, if this body is not going back to dust, let it make a pit stop? An extra pit stop before gotcha. the funeral. And yeah, you know, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. at the end, do you really care what happens with your body when you die? Uh, No. Not really. You know, like, unless you have, like, a faith thing where people say, like, no, I can't get cremated or I can't get whatever. Most no, people, care. like, you'll be, a f- you'll be a donor. You'll be an organ donor. You don't care. You're right. dead. Like, who cares? Well, I don't think I'm an organ donor, though. No? Are you? Yeah. I think yeah? So. I don't think I am. I don't remember if I... I think I checked it off when it was like, you know, if I uh, die, I die. I'm ready to go home. Okay. Like, um, I don't think I'm a... Well, it's because I don't see people could benefit from my organs. Whoa, anybody can. Bro. I saw I saw a story of somebody, two people recovering sights from some little really? girl's eyes. Let me ask you, when there's organ stuff, is all organs? So, like, if a man had a penis, they could get I don't know if it's else? all organs. I think it's, like, like the main organs, like, like lungs, heart, uh, your eyes. Oh, um, uh, okay. So, the so, the, 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 so there's only a couple of things spleen. about you that are good. I, like, the real internal organs, you get me? Uh, like, the stuff that gotcha, you can't really gotcha. replicate, I think. I get what you're saying. Okay, okay. okay. But my whole idea is every person who ever had a great idea, we first thought they were crazy. True. That's very true. I'm so sure that people laughed at Elon Musk. People still laugh at Elon Musk. Right. I'm, and, and oh, he, to this day. Yeah. Until they saw SpaceX really about to come through. Right. I'm sure people laughed at uh, Bill Gates, at uh, Steve Jobs. I, I absolutely agree. You know, like Christopher Ford. Columbus thinking like, yo, I can get to the other side. I won't fall off. Right, right, because right. Because the earth isn't flat. And like, right, you right. know, and people saying, yo, men can fly. Men can go into space. Yeah. You know, like veganism is a thing. Like, right, like you right. know what I'm saying? Yes. I, I think. True, true. We are all hypocrites. Until okay. push comes to shove, and then you have no other choice. Think about it. Like you, was, if I offered you meat, human meat right now, you say no. Yeah. But if you're in an island starving, yeah. and somebody already died, I'm not from already murdered, yeah, but yeah. somebody already died. That's a good ribeye yeah. right well, there, homie. Well, <laughs> it, and it, it's re- it's really good what you said. That I, I think that a lot of it has to do though with the emotional connection you have to things. I think that us as humans, like especially living in the United States. We have more of an emotional connection to like a, like any human than we do to any animal. First of all, now here we have more connections to animals than humans. Every nah. other country is vice versa, but here, well, well, Peter will come in harder than than than, than, than freaking the justice system when uh, a white woman kills a black man. Well, right, Peter will come in way right. harder on you. Well, well, <laughs> to an extent, I, I get what you're saying to an extent. But if you look at it though, most people would would eat their dog before they eat a human being. Yeah, but most people think be, about that. Uh, this is my thing though. My thing is that the hypocrisy of it all is like eating a human. I'm not promoting murder, right? 
Like someone who died of natural causes or something like that. What depends on you died of two? country, yeah, of course. If you died of like AIDS, I'm not eating that meat, bro. I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm That's not crazy, yo. I'm not eating that meat. How many thousands of people are dying every day anyway? You know, first of all, this country has one of the biggest abortion rates, right? So right, if you're right. willing to kill off a person, right. is now I'm wrong because I'm right. promoting you eat it after? Right. Well, well, yeah, that sounds crazy too. I'm not gonna lie. That's <laughs> Isn't that hypocrisy. Well, about, I mean, I, I actually I get I get what you're saying, but at the same time, I think that people are conditioned though, right? Like from from yeah. where you are. Like think of it like this. There's certain animals that you will not eat though. Ever. Like if somebody tells you, Oh, I have a cat right here, eat it, you'll say hell no. Hell no. Dog, you'll say hell no. But if it's beef, chicken, fish, I I fuck no, with that yeah, shit. Like different. you're programmed you're right. to yeah. eat that it's shit. Conditioned definitely you know I mean? because if I go to China yeah. They'll be like, you have a cat, dope. Let's oh, cook yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, a- in, in China, they be eating everything. Beetles, you roaches, go, you go to the crazy market, shit. they have like all these things like pinchos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, which is wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is wild for us. No, hell yeah. But, but it's like a perfectly nutritious meal over there. So for them. That's what I mean. Like a lot of times people don't want to admit that the world is bigger than themselves. Yeah. So a crazy yeah. idea to you might it's just co- be natural to somebody else. A lot of this is culture too. Yeah, though. for sure. You know what I mean? It's yeah, a yeah. lot of culture shit in, in, in the Toronto. I mean, if you pay attention to it like this... A lot, like you, like you just said though. There's certain tribes that eat people. I don't know what their reasons are, you know, but they, to them it's like whatever. It's yeah. normal. I, I can remember of a tribe that uh, I don't remember the name, but there's a tribe that would the eat the King Kong tribe. That would have better. Don't, don't eat people. <laughs> <laughs> the King Kong tribe. No, oh. There's a tribe that eats, oh. them, and it's a sign of respect. Because really? it's like a passing down of a generation to the next, like real G Let stuff. Let me ask you something. How, the, uh, in cannibalism, though, right? They they pick the part so that they're gonna eat, right? Yeah. Like oh, I know thigh. where you're going. I know where you're going. There was this dude, right? Because I was out talking to a, f- a friend of my wife. Uh-huh. So we started researching. There's this dude who sold, who sold his penis uh-huh. as a meal he to cut six it off? people. Wait, wait. He cut his to penis To six off? people. Okay. Every person paid $1,000 for a piece. How big was his penis? Who knows? Who cares? How many pieces? Every well, it depends. Person, look, now think about this market for up now. Wait, wait. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Every person who dies, we castrate. <laughs> we cook this up and sell it for wait, a wait, grand wait, wait. a piece. You're going, you're going off. Wait, I got to ask some questions first. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. All right. So this guy, where's he from? He was in Japan or like a, a, somewhere in Asia. Asia. So this penis was not that big. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it wasn't that big of a penis. Racist, that's not racist. racist. No, that's racist. a stereotype. This penis couldn't have been more than four inches. <laughs> Now, now let's be honest. Statistically speaking, statistically speaking, right, right. Now, did he cut it off hard or soft? Because if it's soft, we're looking at probably half of that now. Who knows? No, this is important. I, mean, I, I would think if you cut your penis off while it's hard, it probably stays like that, right? Why? No, because it's the blood flow. Yeah, but that's I mean, it, but your, your, your penis is like a sponge, right? I mean, that's that's yeah. a, that's how they teach yeah, us in it's school. Like erect. It's erect. Right. I mean, you tie it at the end so the blood stays in. Maybe. You know what I mean? And it just stay. I mean, you if you were to sell your penis, I mean, again, you won't do it. But if you were to, would you not want it to be as great looking, yeah. shaved? I needed more portion because right, I right. need more money. Right. But you want it shaved. You want it to look good. You want it to be lotion up. You don't want it to be ashy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You want you want you want the color to look good. You know, to, you probably put some makeup on it There's before a, you sell it. I'm pretty sure buddy breaded it and then, oh, you know, you know, maybe bread, you know when you bread like a slim piece of chicken yeah, it still yeah. looks thick and it looks thick exactly, exactly. yeah but my point is look my point is there's already a wait, black wait, wait, market wait. for all kinds of time things out, time out. i'm not done questions? i'm not done yes because okay you said a thousand dollars per piece so how big how, is we don't know how big this penis is you know if it's a, imagine if it's a 10 inch penis per piece I mean, let's say let's say each piece is an inch right we're looking at ten thousand dollars Right, if you go by inch, that's a lot of money. That's well, a ten thousand well, dollar penis. That's some, pretty good. There's some meat that's worth it, like like the wagyu beef or whatever. Right, it's called. right. You know, like bro, some quality meat. Well, but I mean, and, think and of, yeah, think you. about it. But those cows, the way those cows are raised, probably not how that Asian man was raised. I know, but that's my point. Yeah, my point is, if Buddy ate crap and he still got a thousand dollars, then what about somebody who lived like a vegan life, ended up dying anyways? I'm not promoting mm, yeah, black yeah, people yeah, get castrated, yeah. but I'm saying if somebody dies and they had a clean living. That's, gotcha, that gotcha. beef is quality like, like beef. If, if they're vegan, yeah, that you beef can sell is that penis. Beef. Right, right. You know? Damn. So think about it, right? Now, but I wouldn't want to start in the Asian market, though. No, I'm but be my, honest point is, with you. my point is, this is already a black market for all kinds of things. Oh, for like, sure. You know, people say that one of the best meat, and this is like a fact, Google it. Hmm? Some people have said that one of the best meat that ever had is brain. Brain. Get the fuck out of here. Brain? Facts, bro. Holy Facts. fuck. So people be doing the most... And you could get paid for it, but because you think it's weird or nonsensical, yeah, yeah. 
But if you go in the black market, all kinds of things are for sale. So you're saying the hood has been losing money on all these drive-bys. Bro, you're killing people anyways. <laughs> sell them. <laughs> Take that body and well, sell no, it. Sell it dead, then. <laughs> Don't sell them. Well, that's what I'm saying. The drive-bys. I mean, yeah, yeah, you do yeah, a drive-by, yeah. you dip. You could have just came. You could have stopped, pulled the body yeah, into your yeah. car, and took off and yeah. would have made more money. And instead maybe, of maybe risking he, your life maybe, for free. Yeah, maybe here it wow. doesn't make sense, right? But if when I'm done goes international and you click on this specific episode, I gave you a nugget of economy. For sure. I did not know that. Think about it, bro. You, Holy shit. You start castrating all these people that are dead anyways. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it makes sense. It, it make I'm not like it makes sense, but the you know the problem is though this 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 is the problem. So you know we live in a very capitalistic world. So everything that we do, we want it to like be for money. So it's like, I mean, especially now, right? Like, like uh, you tweeted, no, not tweeted. Um, you put on Instagram today, right? Uh, you find out how much influencers make. I mean, yo, these influencers blink and they make money for the most part, right? Like, I mean, anything oh. that these fuckers do, they make money. And I don't want to say fuckers because I would. I'm not no influencer. And like you said, maybe one day you blow up. You know, nowadays I feel like that word is so jaded, though. Yeah. Like any anybody. No, anybody? but it's not at that level. We're not uh, talking yeah. about that level. That like level. When, I feel like when you say influencers, like yo, this person has like you know, he gets paid money yeah. for. It. So yeah, like, I, like, I, I'm know, not gonna say. I'm that. telling you, it's wild because like they're sending you free stuff all the time, mm -hmm. but then for you to like promote something, they're gonna pay you plus give you that stuff for free. Right, right. Like this when dude, you're like, big, yeah. like like I watch a lot of the tech guys, right? You mm -hmm. know, a lot of the tech guys get get like you know, yeah. they get flown to Apple shows, yeah, so they can just five minute video saying what they saw in Apple. Yeah, yeah, the review, which, which is bullshit. insane. Well, the bullshit review, yeah, like yeah. That. There's just like the look around, yeah. And, yeah you know what I'm saying? About. So like, yeah, I understand where you're going with this, mm -hmm. but it is not far fetched to think. No, it's not. I, I, first of all, that story is great. <laughs> um, I want to know how big that penis was. Like. Honest, I'm not gonna lie to you. I need On the to next know. episode of I'm yeah, down. I need to know because a thousand dollars per piece. How many pieces are we talking about here, bro? What I'm saying is, that well, like, let me ask, like, who bought this? Like, is, is that this? is my point? Look, it's a people, people in, in in the U.S. and this is a U.S. thing. Mm -hmm. People in the U.S. don't realize there's a world outside of the U.S. Yeah, you know, there's like CEOs from here, big con big like company CEOs, yeah, like Johnson yeah, yeah. Johnson dude got in trouble the other day. Yeah. They pay fifty thousand dollars to go shoot a rhino in Africa. Get the fuck out of here. Why? Facts. Google it. Holy because the shit. rhino is like a like a specific oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of you can't really find many of them. Mm -hmm. So it's an endangered species. It is. And you paid fifty K to go shoot them. Shit. Insane. People waste money on everything when they got it just cause. Yeah. Right? True. But now if I could see a country that's malnourished and dying and I could cure world hunger with the dead people that are there dead anyways. Sheesh. Call me crazy, but I think you're onto something, yeah. But what I'm trying to promote here is not cannibalism. What I'm trying to promote here is outside thinking. Stop being stuck in your bubble. Mm -hmm. You, the world is bigger than you. The world is bigger than the states, and the world is bigger than the Western civilization. Mm -hmm. Some people, and you hear all the time when they travel to the East, they'll tell you, "Yo, the U.S. is so different." Yeah, yeah. You know, and I, I, I like that you said that too because there, there's a Patrice O'Neill, right, the comedian. He has a joke where he's like, um, he's like, "Yo." People in the U.S. don't don't realize. I think he said something about like don't realize how arrogant they are. He said he he goes to another country, and he gets mad at people that don't even know how to speak English. <laughs> he's like, "What the <laughs> fuck? I, I speak English, joke, right?" And he's like, "He's like, he's like, he's like, yeah, I I didn't realize that I'm in fucking Japan." He's like, he's wondering, you know, what the fuck language are y'all speaking? It's like, no, motherfucker. Uh, yeah. What like they're looking at you like, what language are you speaking? Because yeah. it's like you know, in, in Japan. You're, like, you know, you're an American. You don't know your uncultured, whatever mm. you want to say. You don't know how to read a Japanese sign for shit. You're like, yo, where the fuck is the English mm. signs here? But you're in another fucking country. Like, you, you can't expect for other countries to kind of like... And I think that as Americans, as like, you know, living in the U.S., I think that we expect that a lot. It's like, you want to go to another country yeah, and you want to... Right, you, you want like all those other countries to kind of cater to you. Because I think like it's almost like... I don't know if this is a rumor, but I feel like... I hear this all the time. It's like, yo, English is like the worldwide language. Like everybody in the world yeah, knows how to speak because English. Because America is the center of it all, whatever. Right? right. Well, but I mean, so I guess with that notion, you you would expect, like, yo, well, whenever I go ex anywhere, I expect there to be like you know an English sign. But yeah. if you go to Honduras, all you can see is, well, first of all, you're lucky if you see a sign because <laughs> it's stolen. <laughs> right, right. But if you do see a sign, yeah. it's gonna be in Spanish. But, but it's not gonna be in English. People always say, for example, they'll say, oh, the French are so rude. If you speak in English, they won't talk to you. I heard about that. Right? I heard that they which, really don't fuck yeah, with Americans. Yeah, which is funny to me because it's like, 
they have every right to. Right. You're in their country. It's like we come here and we tell people, oh, you go to America, learn how to speak English. Yeah, well, yeah, then you yeah. go to France, learn how to speak French. Right, right. But that hypocrisy, right. I, that's exactly what yeah, I was saying. Yeah, it's yeah. our hypocrisy because we are entitled. Yep. And let's not start with our generation, boy. Oh. oh. But that's if I know this episode. But, man, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you something, bro. So, hold on. Look, Giselle just. I'm recording. So let me tell you something. So I had um I had this discussion, and well, this, actually this discussion was was had a little while ago, right? With my little sister. I think I told you about it. I think I told you about it the last episode, right? I think maybe I you told, told me. Someone. I think after we finished recording. Well, I mean, I look. I've been pondering on this because I asked her the question. So to you, there's no host, right? And she's like, no, like right, like she said, there's no host to her, right? Mm-hmm. And you know, this week. Um. Uh, by the way, remind me to show you an Instagram video after we're done recording. <laughs> okay. I just okay. thought about it. <laughs> okay. So you know, um, so I've been thinking about that for a while. I was like, damn, like you really don't think there's any hoes, like. Uh, promiscuous. It, it, it kind of make me okay. Promis- whatever. You, you know, mean whatever promiscuous you women, right? That's what you mean. Well, no. Cause I mean, again, we have a uh, different, different definition definitions of- for sure. Like, like, if you're single out here and you want to do your thing, you out here. You know, what I'm saying you want to do your thing. Can you be promiscuous without being a whore? I think so. Okay. I think I was like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, I think quiet, so. <laughs> yeah, well, th- this is what this is why I say that though. Hey, look, if you're a single person out here and you wanna, you know, smash whatever you wanna smash, cool. By, I mean, I think that if you're just like giving the cookie to just anybody, I think that's that. No, you know, uh, there's PPM, right? So <laughs> shout out to to Charlemagne. There's proper pussy management out here. You need to you need to manage that cookie. You need to budget properly. Yeah, you do definitely need to budget that thing properly. You know what I'm saying? You need to treat it like you on a hundred dollar budget and every every everybody you give it to it's is twenty five bucks. There we go. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you don't want to give those twenty five dollars just to anything. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, like when when it when it comes to like donating, like you know, yeah. asking supermarkets, yo, you want to donate twenty five dollars? You don't really want to donate it to like shit that you have no idea about. You know what I mean? Like to some random shit you never heard yeah. about. But you know, if you can give twenty five dollars to like I don't know Hurricane Dor- Dorian victims there in Haiti. There we go. You know what I'm saying? Some shit that you you know because you visually seen like damn like this shit is for real. You know there then you want to give it to that. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to just give your twenty five dollars just to anybody, right? But on, on, on this story, right? So we all know about the infamous Selena Powell, right? We I just found out not that long ago. Well, you did, but I showed you guys yeah, the yeah. Adam Twenty Two yeah, interview. Yeah. Now she came back again. Oh, really? And he posted it this week. So you know when I see a girl like Selena Powell, um, I. I would say she is, uh, I guess, thoughty-ish. I mean, again, you girls, you not you girls, or whoever, like, you know, disagrees with me, you could crucify me. You could, whatever the shit you want to say or do, right? I don't give a shit. To me, in my opinion, that's what I would, like, say, okay, like, that. that's a hoe or that's a, uh, you know, I don't, I, I guess, you know, the, the, the thing that the comes to my head, use. too, is, is that people like to fight the derogatory term. But I don't give a fuck about the derogatory term. So I just, I'm going to continue to say yes. Like, that is who I would identify as a thoughty ish or whatever. You get me? Because this girl deliberately will use sex uh, to get certain things out of, I guess, uh, I don't call them victims, but you know, out, I, of, I, out of people. You get me? Like, you know, the guys, the artists, the celebrities that she goes to, like, she'll say, like, yo, it's like, nah, there's not enough clout there, so I won't fuck them. Right? It's like, when I start hearing things like that, it's like, oh, okay, I, I would classify you as a whole. Because that this is very different to me. That's very different from somebody, let's say, who just wants to fuck. That's it. You get me? Like, because for her, so her play. agenda, exactly, it's a play. You're using uh, sex as a power play. I mean, you want to get clout. Um, I don't understand, like, the level of clout because I don't understand if she's getting money for this clout. Because, you know, everybody says, you know, uh, there's no such thing as bad publicity, right? But, you know, for you to be, like, an influencer or whatever, I don't get to what extent her paychecks come in from this. You yeah. get what I'm saying? I, I don't know. She So she talks about how she gets with guys and she robs them. So that's, she's part of a scammer. She's partly scammer. The crazy thing that's is... That's very Florida of her. this... Right, she admits this very openly. I mean, she talks about, like, she talked about Tory Lane. She robbed Tory Lane's. Um, she talked about, I think she robbed G Herbal. I remember one of the things she talked. So, you know, she, she uses sex. So the, the reason I ask is that do we classify her though as a hoe or, or a thotty or whatever, or do we classify her as a strategist? What if she's just an empowered woman using her assets? Like a, like a, you know, like a financial advisor who knows how to use his assets properly mm, to, to get, to get to what get she what wants. You want. Mm. Power play, right? That, that, that's like what I'm talk, saying. Like, that point play, of view crossed right. my head. It's like, when well, you know, power play with money. You say, yeah. yo, that person's a big money baller. They did what they had to do. Yeah, yeah, right. Go have to their assets since she knows true. how to use them properly. That's very true. Because she ain't just giving it to anybody. Right, exactly. So you so know, she's investing, and she's like, you know, that 
the damage I could take doesn't compare to the gain I could have. Like, and and that's what I wanted to get to. That I wanted to get to that right there. I was like, I classify her in my head. Like the minute I hear her speak, and so I'm like, damn, this girl's a hoe. But then I stop to think. I'm like, no, wait, she's not, cause she's getting something out of this. You get me? Now it kind of, the reason why I'm struggling with this is now what is a hoe? What would you classify as someone who is promiscuous, who is thirtyish? What would you classify that person as? What would you say? Would you say just somebody who's having sex with just? I want to say just anybody. But what's anybody? Because like like, uh, like every night is a different dude, like a rando, you know, like. Oh, let's see who let's right. see who I pick up today. Right, right, right. So, so like, like how guys do it. In yeah, the sense, like, right? yeah, like, like guys, like all right, yeah, until yeah. the next one. Right, right, right. That, that's what you were classifying. Yeah. You see, I mean, th- this is the thing, and, and this is why I'm kind of the reason why I struggle with this because I don't only look at it from my point of view. I'm looking at it just a little bit more broader, right? Mm-hmm. So, there are guys who don't give a shit about how many guys you fuck. They don't give a fuck, right? If they really fuck with you, they're gonna fuck with you, right? There's other guys who they got the number. If like, they fuck with yeah. you, but they hear that you fuck with X, Y, and Z. It's like no go. It's a cutoff it's a for no me, go. right? So I understand that because I think I I will fit part of that. Like let's say I want to get with a girl and I found out she got with like with like like she fuck with this many niggas that I know. It's like ah uh, yeah, I probably don't want to fuck with you. You get me? Just cause you know it changes your image. But it, you know that that's where ego comes into play. Girls don't give a shit about that. Like yo, you could fuck their their friends. You could fuck girls that they know, and they they might not care. Like if they really fuck with you, they'll fuck with you. Yeah, you know? like they might not no, really it, give a fuck. It's because it's like they really care about their feelings. You care about your pride. Exactly. Like you know, motherfuckers have a lot of pride. Yeah. So, but, but again, not to get too much into the guys thing. Th- that made me think though. Damn, is my sister right? Are there no such thing as hoes? Or, well, or or what are we classifying these? Promiscuous girls, that, or, or girls well, that like just seem dirty and like I, dogging I, I, up. I, I think like, to me, point, look, I think, I think for me, like it's like this. If let's say a girl has a boyfriend, right, and she wants to jump on other niggas while she has a boyfriend, I will say, oh, that girl's a hoe. You get yeah. me? Because why are you doing that? Yeah, if you're in a good relationship, yeah. you know, if your boyfriend beats your ass and he's like, all, don't be piece get, of leave, shit, leave. You should leave. But I'm just saying, you know, yeah. they, to, to a certain extent, some girls won't leave because, you know, money and shit like that. You know, like. Leave. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, you know, if you live in a penthouse and, you know, you get your ass beat, it, you're, it's harder to leave that I, I penthouse, you know, if you yeah. live in a trap house. You, yeah, know, you live yeah. in a trap house, you go to the next trap yeah. house. <laughs> you're not going to the next penthouse like that. You get me? You got to work your way up there. You're right. Usually. You know what I mean? So, at. Again, I will say the same thing. Leave, but I'm just you know. Yeah, I, we understand the the dynamics, the scenarios, yeah. right? But if you got a man that you know you're in a good relationship with, and you know you just got the tendencies where like you just want to fuck other guys, I will classify you as a thotty. It's like, come on, like you got a good nigga with you or a good man. Let me try to stop saying the n word. You know, you got a good man which let me try to elevate myself for we once. We have you know? a counter. Ding. Yeah. Ding, so ding. you know, let, uh, you know, if you got a good man something like that, and you still stepping out and cheating. Uh, you you thought he is. That's what I would consider it. Other people might not. That's what I would consider it. But you know, what are we considering? I guess in a more general place, are, are, are we still holding girls to that standard? I, I think the problem here, and this is like, you know, to side with the women, is that mm-hmm. um, we have, you know, kind of like a different exposition for men and women. I was watching this, uh, watching, I was reading on, on Twitter, mm-hmm. well, Miley Cyrus, I don't know if you saw that, Miley Cyrus was like, they got her kissing some dude now. Like, I don't know him because I don't some really know Some other him. dude? Yeah. Not the girl. So it's another no, story. No, they already broke up and he's with some other dude, right? Okay. Right? And she that. was just married like three months ago, four months ago. So I, like I, she, okay, so there's a story I know. She was married to one of those Hemsworth. Uh, Hemsworth. She was kissing a girl. Yeah. And they now broke she's, up. Yeah, now she's with some other dude. Okay. And so uh, she wrote something along those lines. Like I just briefly read over it. Mm-hmm. She's like, oh, you know, if, if, if it would have been a dude, you would have called him a G, a player, or whatever. Yeah. But if it's a girl, you call her kind of like a thotty. Blah, That's blah, blah. not true, though. And, and so, I, I think I can, I can understand that our expectation of women is better than our expectation of ourselves. Right. <laughs> right. right. True, true. You expect the women's body count to be way lower than yeah. the dudes. Well, you want and, to be lower than yours. Uh, definitely, right? Yeah, like, yeah. that's not even a question. If a girl's body count is higher than yours, you're like, all right, well, we're going to do one two things. Either we breaking up or I'm fucking girls right now to Just catch up even, to you. you catch, no, first of all, and you can't even catch up. It can't be equal. It has to be yeah, one to be more. more. I have to have at least one yeah, more. Nah, at least 10 more. Of <laughs> at least 10. Yeah, that's a good That's a good variable. <laughs> one more is like, nah, one more, nah. But my point is, like, you know, like th- there is this inequality in our thinking, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe there's no thotties, right? But 
We're at least I'm a very conservative young man, yeah. so I can't help but be like, ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah, you gonna have those thoughts. Like, like I be trying not to, you know, yeah, be trying yeah, to love yeah. everybody the same, like yeah. love and positivity and whatnot. But I be like, ooh. Well, I will say this though. I think it. Dep- what she's saying that what she was trying to say is that okay, if what she did, if a man did it, we'll be bigging up the man. That's, that's yeah, what she was yeah, saying. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I think it depends who you're talking to, though. what kind of artist you're talking to. I understand if she means maybe a broad, because I mean, it, okay, a lot of little kids are younger immature thoughts will be that you get me but you know you realize that as you get older once you kind of have experience and you actually done your thing you realize nah it's not really cool hashtag black men don't cheat <laughs> <laughs> there we go hashtag black men don't cheat <laughs> well we're not black men brown men <laughs> let's go with brown men <laughs> we're changing the narrative we're changing the narrative we're right? all inclusive <laughs> anybody right. of a, da- a darker hue <laughs> <laughs> well a lighter hue in this sense oh, we're, yeah, brown. Yeah, we're brown we're <laughs> brown so in in it depends who you're talking to because after you've done shit, you don't really look at that as as like, oh man, the like because yeah. I mean, look, let's be honest, bro. I said this before. Yeah, but what she's pointing is to to this uh, hypocrisy in society is what we're well, talking to. Well, okay, I mean, in, in that sense, okay, but again, I would still say it depends who you're talking. No, to. no, I agree. But would you that that like the normal thing is you wouldn't look to a guy as bad as you would to a girl who did the same thing oh well, yeah that's true that's definitely true i mean well uh, that's just a double that's standard it's like the, it's like society. putting your hands on anybody right if a girl hits a guy how it's looked at uh, who uh, you know she's a girl it doesn't hurt like no it hurts you know I me mean? <laughs> she puts me in my face it hurts but the way it looks like it's like come on bro just take it you know I mean yeah, now the she's minute a girl, she doesn't hear hard right now the minute you go and do that oh, shit yeah. is a, a no fucking rifle yeah, you are canceled no you know I mean you I mean look at Chris Brown that shit happened forever and Chris it's Brown tainted. to this it's day is still you're not, you know you're not escaping that yeah it, well he's not escaping that I think there's guys that definitely escaped that I mean well, Floyd Mayweather's probably escaped that yeah, at this but, point but Floyd uh, is just Terrell Owens maybe escaped that at, well no was it T.O. or no, was it uh Ray Rice no, 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 Ray Rice is not escaping yeah, that. No escaping <laughs> that video. He's not escaping first that shit. All. That's a video. Yeah. No, the thing with Rihanna is that Rihanna's picture. If that Rih- Rihanna's picture never came out, he would escape that. I think. Yeah. But Rihanna's picture, nah, that, that what came out is yeah. what fucked it all up. You know it, what I'm it really puts an image in people. Yeah. That's what they're thinking of. And, and, and again, you know, the thing is that you don't chill with Chris Brown every day, so you don't get to see Chris Brown's growth, growth per exactly. se. So for you, the image is, okay, you're mm-hmm. always like that. You get yeah, what I'm saying? And obviously, even when you see him grow, you're like, oh, it's a publicity stunt. Because right. you're already feeling some type of way about him. Yeah, yeah. Like, so you don't give yeah. him any credit that he could actually grow out of it. Right, right. I yeah, which, which I mean, I, I think that's that's his whole generation. You don't, you don't yeah. let anybody grow yeah. anyway. No, no, no. Once you're going to bring old tweets, you said it one of these times, you're like, yeah. yo, I guarantee you they're going to bring this shit one day yeah. way back. If we were to run for anything, government, blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Oh, blah. oh, oh first remember time, that time. Oh, yeah, you're remember, done. Remember that time that you and... Yo, these guys are like 60 and yeah. photos of them in blackface when they were like 16 yeah, or no, well, not like 16, maybe like what, 20 or the whatever. The bigotry and the whatever. Yeah, it comes back. Yeah. Like, yo, I'm telling yeah. you, those things will always come back. Yeah, so yeah, that's, yeah. that's You're fast. You're not escaping that. Oh, hell and we're no. doing you a favor because we uploaded it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we're giving you the proof. You know I mean, we're, the proof is in the pudding. You know what I'm saying? As, <laughs> as we will see. So, I mean, I, again, going back to it, I think it just depends on who you're talking to. I get the hypocrisy, but I think that like, I don't know. you. It's only so much like girls you can get to the point where it's like okay like yeah i get it you could get girls but like let's be honest like yeah, if i know you want to settle down eventually then uh you know yeah. we can have the honest conversation of you know, at this point vagina's vagina right like we know that there's be- uh, you know you could compare it whatever but at the end of the day it's, it's all the same thing it's, it's like saying there's no such thing as bad sex right you compare the sex but realistically there's almost no such thing as bad sex right in, i guess you know and i guess in interchangeable variable ways or whatever. But it, at, at one point, you know, you go out of like the whole, oh, you, yo, you big up your homeboy for smashing everything, everything, everything. Oh. Yeah, it's like a high school mentality. Yeah, you yeah. know, I, I don't know. At, at least to me, at, at this point, it's like, I don't really want to hear that, oh, I'm the smashing X1. Uh, cool. You yeah, get me? Like, I don't really give a cares. shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a shit, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? At this point, yeah, it's but, like, whatever. But I think, uh, you know, to give Selena Powell some credit, it's like, if you like this anyways, and you, because we talk about it in YouTube sense, and we talk yeah. about it in Instagram sense. If you like this, anyways, and you can make money out of it, right? Can like, we really knock down the hustle? Yeah, that, 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 that's exactly what came to me. I was like, you know what? Can I really knock down the hustle? Right. It's like, look, you're using, like you said, your assets to gain something from somebody. Because realistically, they're they've been doing that for years, right? Like rappers or whatever, they call women bitches, they X, Y, and Z, you know, the whole movement. And realistically, like, you know, you hear guys say, I just wanna fuck, I just wanna fuck. I had that mentality at one point in my life. You get me? Where I was like, I just wanna fuck. The difference though was in my defense, nobody comes at me for this, was I, I feel like I was honest about, you know, whatever it was at the time. 
Now, nobody could debate that. I'm just saying that the it, it's just different, you know, angles to this. Was he? Was he really though? I def I definitely was. I you know, and I'll tell you this. I th- I think that part of my character is to always sa- self sabotage myself. <laughs> I do that shit so much is insane. So that no one gets ex- like any it's, ideas. Yeah, you know it, it's crazy when I think about it, right? But you know you can talk to somebody who's feeling you in in any way. Like as a man, you kind of know. You almost have like this this uh, I guess instinct, right? That is like wow. Like if I tell you X, Y, and Z, I'm a bag it. Exactly, I'm a bag it. But I never do that. Like once I start hearing, mm-hmm. uh, you know, once I, you perceive, I, I, I've been in 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 issues, not in issues, in situations like this where I'm talking to somebody, she's telling me about what she wants out of life, and I automatically know, okay, I'm only I'm only going to have this conversation with you, uh, without any agenda behind it, because now I know that you're not that kind of girl that I need to do anything with yeah. and and I, I feel like part of that has to do with uh, again the thought of like you know I don't need to cause you know a lot of me is not in this I've always been like this I don't have to take action to certain things I just it's enough for me you to like, just no. know for me to, look if I know I can that's enough for me some guys need to go and do it and and, and yeah. you know like make it yeah. happen if I know I can, I don't need to do it. You get what I'm saying? I've always been like that. Always like it, it's almost like I get gratification of just knowing that yeah, I can. I got it. That can exactly. Yeah. It's it's like this. It's like um, you have let's say you have thirty thousand dollars in your bank account right now, right? And you know that you can afford X. any car that you like, or maybe any house that you may like. You know, whatever. Who cares? You know you can do it, but you don't do it because you know you have a bigger scheme mm-hmm. or you want to wait. But it's satisfying for you to just know that you can. Yeah, so you, got you know to what I'm saying? Level that you could do you it. Know, look, look it, I, I've I've said this too. This, this goes to this example. What is the difference between a millionaire and a billionaire? Right? I don't think it's things anymore. Like getting stuff. I don't think it's stuff it's because it's only it. it's only so much stuff. I mean, look, I, I, I'm not gonna be naive to right. Like, I mean, fifty millions can buy fifty million dollars could buy a whole lot more than what one million dollars can, but just because they can't doesn't mean you will. That's what I'm trying to say. People think that, oh, because you're a billionaire, well, I could fly here and I could do this and I could do but will you? You get me? Like, okay, yeah, you're a billionaire. Will you buy a plane just because you're a billionaire and a yacht and uh, and a, a car that picks you? Like, mm-hmm. no, you, that doesn't necessarily mean that you would. You get me? You might not buy a boat. You might not buy a plane and you're a billionaire. Not every billionaire has a plane. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. And it, so it, it kind of just goes hand in hand. Like, yo, if you if if you know you can do something, that doesn't necessarily always mean that you will do it. You get me? So I think that that's always been my thing. Um, I'm never like if I just know that I can do something, I won't necessarily do it. You get me? So I think that some people have that mentality for a lot of things. For example, somebody might try a little kid, and you know you could whoop this little kid's ass, but you know he's a little kid. So you ain't paying no You're money. not gonna do yeah. it. You get what I'm saying? But you know you could. It's enough for you to know you could. Most fights start off with somebody tries you and, and you, you don't yeah, know no, if he can yeah. whoop his ass. So you feel some type of way. Yeah, so you're like, you know what? I got to whoop his guy's ass right now because I we need to know what's popping. I'm yeah. not about to walk out of here with my pride. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, it is this, I guess, uh, I'm going to tell you, man, guys' minds are so fucked up in a sense. Like the <laughs> ego thing. I think I, I think it's like this ego thing that drives men that's insane. Like if you really think about it, like so many like situations that could have been like prevented. You don't prevent it just because you're pride. It's like, you know, we, uh, we take a lot. I'm far too deep already. I got to prove this. Exactly. You know, I, I think guys take a lot of pride in being logical, but we're not always logical. You know what I mean? I think we make decisions on logic, but not all decisions that we make are logical. No, I think we always, it's always logical. Is it something the the frame through which you are making this logic is pride? Tell me that. So, Tell me, for talk example, about. like, you're like, all right, this person is trying me. If I beat him up, then everyone's gonna know I'm the man, right? If I see I'm gonna get beat, I got my boys anyways. Uh, okay, <laughs> so you okay. know are you rationalizing that in your head. That's why, like you know, you Ooh, see those videos. Maybe where you see the videos like the people be like, "Yo, you were supposed to have my back." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, that was one a one-on-one. On one. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the video I showed y'all. Yo, jump in because you was getting that whoop. And we're like, nah. His own boys like, nah. Yeah, so I'm not gonna what? lie. If that ever happened to me, I'm gonna beat y'all asses after that. <laughs> And, and, and it's, I ain't gonna lie, you know why? Because that guy can never be tough again. Ever. Ever in his life. Oh, remember that time you got beat? Yes. That's in gonna, front of everybody? That's gonna be, yo, and if he has the kind of friends that most guys have, they will never let that yo, shit go. Motherfucker, you can't act tough. You just got your ass handed to you. Yeah. you know I mean, you cannot act tough or, again. Or, uh, I'm tempted to be like, yo, yo, go fight him. I'll take you back this time. I'll get you back this time. <laughs> no, man. I mean, look, 
I think I, I think what you said is right. You're absolutely right. But it it's more. I don't think that that was. Maybe it is logical, but but it's more like or, or unless you want to say your ego operates with logic. Uh, like it's like you know because I mean, what logical means you rationalize it. You give yourself a good reason as to why you well, should do this. Well, I mean, okay, look. Like, for example, like, dudes, that's what, like, when they're going to cheat, right? Mm -hmm. They'll be like, nah, man, but if I get out of my system now. Right. <laughs> it's right. like, well, you know, honestly, I've been thinking about this. Uh, now, uh, just that you brought this up. I think that cheating is good sometimes. I think we need a little cheating. I'm going to tell you to, why. Like, take it off, take no, out no, your no, system? No, no, no. I'm going to tell you why. If you're a good boyfriend, right? I'm going to get in trouble, bro. Why? <laughs> I'm going to get beat. I'm going to get beat. <laughs> L l look at my point of view real quick. I don't want to put pressure on you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm put a little bit. I'm a. Is is listen to this though. If you're a good boyfriend, right, and your girl's a good girlfriend, and you have a relationship where you're both very happy with each other and it's all good, we all know that girls pick fights for no fucking reason when everything's going yeah. good. Like when everything's going good, your girl's gonna pick something. You get oh, me? Sure. I don't like the. F I don't the like one the way thing you that breathe. is wrong. The one thing that is wrong. I don't like how you fucking flip that egg. <laughs> I don't like how you don't fucking tuck the chair back in every time you leave. You know, it's always going to be weird something. Thing. I think to avoid those, because, you know, those little problems, at least for me, look, speaking for myself, I get mad more at the little things than I do at the bigger things. You know what I mean? Like, if you do something little, like, if you get mad at me for something little, I get so pissed off. Like, it... And I've realized that I get so mad at, like, little shit that people do sometimes. Like, for example, if you're a complainer, right, and you constantly complain, like, for example, like, let's say, like, this one I hear the most, right? Oh, I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke. People complain about being broke all the time. But I am broke. No, no. But listen to this. <laughs> listen to this. People that complain about being broke all the time don't do nothing about being broke or whatever. I'm, I'm talking about real broke. Like, I'm talking I, about, like, like people that, like, yo, be on overdraft, but, but, uh, people that are, like, Wait, I'm let me finish. Let me finish, you fucker. <laughs> so people that are like constantly complaining, right, about like being broke, and they do nothing about it, but just say, I can't do X, Y, Z, I can't do X, Y, Z. But then I look at their lifestyle, and I'm like, I scratch the back of my head, right, because that should be getting real itchy. I be getting real mad. <laughs> like, I come back, it's like a little bit of skin. Because you've been scraping Yeah, your I'm like, motherfucker, you're drinking $10 coffees. You're taking trips you taking shots of me you're no i'm not i'm not talking about you i'm talking <laughs> about no honestly i didn't even know this but i've i've been realizing this a lot of people i follow drink expensive coffee i didn't know this i didn't know this was a thing and so i thought it was just like a chris thing you know like oh okay just chris being a chris dickhead doesn't drink this is real i drink pilon okay yo now you want to sell my line huh I drink pilon. the people paying 500 dollars a month on car notes you know what i'm saying That's shit wild, like man. that I look at shit like that. I'm like, That's what I gotta I'm say. like, no, you're not broke. It's not, it's not that you're broke. It's that look at look at your driveway real quick. Just for one minute, go look at your driveway and see why you're missing five hundred dollars, right? Go look at your bank statement and go look at all those ten dollars down like doo -doo 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 -doo, right. You can pull it up by numbers so you're not and gonna see coffee Starbucks coffee. It's seven twelve. There's coffee still open right now. There's coffee where there's a will, there's a way, bro. Yo, there, there's a pause up. So, <laughs> I love the fact that he look, considered it. Now, now, I'll give you this. If you're broke and you don't complain about it, cool. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's cool. like, it's like, cool. You know what I'm saying? Be broke. Uh, pay your car note. Uh, buy your coffee. All of that shit. I don't want to fucking hear you complain about it, though. You get me? You're broke because of you. You're not broke because, like, you've been handed this unfair, like, you know, unjust thing. It's like, no, you're broke because of the decisions that you've made. So why the fuck are you complaining, but then you continue to do the same bullshit? You get me? So those little things that piss me off. So the reason I say this is because when it comes back to it, if you have a perfect relationship, right, where you guys don't really fight about shit, you know what I'm saying? If you want to fight about the little things, you get me? Just so... Because girls will always do this. Girls will pick a fight, bro. Boring. Yes, because they're bored. You got to cheat a little bit. Because that way, when you get in trouble and you fight, at least, you There's know what I'm saying? Reason? You got something from it. Damn. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, it's not like look, because because think about it. Look, you've been doing your job as a boyfriend. You get me? Like, you've been, you've been good. You treat her right. You know what I'm saying? You buy her things. Whatever fucking girls, like, I don't know, kisses on their forehead. All this other bullshit I see on Instagram. I don't know what fucking girls want, right? <laughs> Again, I'm not made for this no relationship life, so I don't no know. No one knows. <laughs> okay, okay. So, I don't know. You do all this shit that, you know, to you it seems like it's right. But then, 
you're gonna get in fucking trouble anyways. You know what I mean? That fight, and you know, to be honest with you, most girls, they, as, this is the thing with guys, and this is a rule of cheating, just don't make it public ever. You know what I mean? Whatever you do, just make sure that shit never goes public. Because the minute that shit goes public, then you're fucked. Take for it. real. You yeah, because girls, girls will take it as long as they're not embarrassed. You know what I mean? Like, if that shit's like within the home, they, they, they'll see past, men aren't like that. Men, men get insecure very fast. The first question, uh, you cheat, is gonna be like, yo, is this dick bigger than mine? Does he fuck better than me? Does he look better? That's what men care about. You know what I mean? Like, you know, when, um, I don't know if you've seen like interviews and shit like that, right? Like, you know, where a guy was like, oh, what well, does penis size matter? That question is not for girls. Like, honestly, guys don't give a fuck if, if penis size matters to girls. Like, that guys just wanna hear that shit for themselves. You know what I mean? Like, they just wanna know that they fit into this, you know, sex world. Like, they don't really give a fuck about your answer. You get me? Because even if you say no, yes, they're still going to be wondering this question for life. You get me? This is going to be a forever wonder question. So that shit is like insignificant. You get me? Again, but but back back to the to the subject though. The point here is that you're going to fight anyways. So if you if you are in a position where your relationship is good, a little cheating, eh, it's not that bad. You know what I'm saying? It's it not the context. end of right. When you put it in context, it's not the end of it. Now, if you're a piece of shit boyfriend, you fucking scream at your girl. You don't do shit for her. You know what I'm saying? She, you you make no money, <laughs> motherfucker. Yo, you better eat booty, bro. <laughs> eat booty, bro. You know what I'm saying? Do lick toes. You now say put your tongue in between them pinkies and the and the little um ring finger. The all that shit, cause you know that's the tightest toe. That's the tightest toe. That's so you where. Gotta go deep. Yeah, man. You know you gotta do your shit. You know, what I'm, I'm just saying, like if you're, you know, if, if you're in a good, in a good situation, you know, what I'm saying a little cheating isn't the worst. If you feel like something's coming up, kiss a stripper in the mouth one time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> why not? You know, what I'm saying? why not? It's not that bad. You know what I'm saying? Like ha have your boundaries, cause. Because that shit is coming. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to find a relationship because of a girl. That's why gay relationships, motherfuckers don't ever fight in gay relationships. You know what I mean? When they fight about shit, like I said last time, it's about dumb shit, like sports. You know what I'm saying? They never really fight about, like... Because they're best buds. Yes! They're fucking best friends. You know what I'm saying? That's why pride is so happy. You know what I'm saying? It's so, like, freeing. You don't see straight people have a, you said a so parade. Many bad think about, think about this. One rent. Does, so do straight people have a parade? No. They don't have... They have nothing to be prideful well, for. They're fucking fighting it, 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 over coffee mugs and dumb shit. It's like, it's like when people say, um, you know, how come we don't have a white <laughs> a white uh, heritage month? It's like, first of all, ah. it's 11 months of the year. <laughs> Being straight is celebrated every day. Is bro. there a Hispanic heritage month? Yeah. We don't celebrate that here, do September. we? September. What is it? September. What do we... We don't... As, yeah. as the United States celebrates yes. what? Google it, bro. When... I've never been off... From school, oh, well, I've been <laughs> off when MLK Day comes around. I can't be off when the Mind Day comes around or some shit like that. I never knew about this. In school? No, maybe not you. You go to a rich school and they're all white. They don't give a shit about MLK. They don't give a shit about MLK in your school. Really? Look at her, really. We're off. We're they don't off. give a shit about MLK in yeah, your school. It's a bunch of rich white people. We're off. You know how we get Labor Day off, but we don't get like, like, Indian and Pita Day off. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? We, we don't get certain, yeah, certain Hispanic that, holidays. But, but, but to answer your question, that's it. It's like being straight celebrated every every other month. Well, not really. It's not. It's, we don't have an event for it, though. Because we don't need Where's to. Is it Valentine's it's been Day? History. Huh? It's been history. No, that's, uh, it's been history to be gay. It's, there's but, been, there's like, been gay people like, just like there's been lesbian people. I know, but my point is, and first how would you feel about celebrating White Heritage Month? Uh, you feel some type of way. Yeah, that sounds kind of racist. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like the KKK. Well, that's, uh, that's how a gay person well, would celebrating straight. What is White Heritage Month? Like you celebrate Ku Klux Klan? All, like all what are you white, celebrating? That's what I'm saying. Like, what are you going to do? Like shit. Like, what can you do that doesn't oppress other people? I know why White Heritage Month is. <laughs> okay, what? Whatever, whatever. No, whatever month. Oh, Jesus. Whatever month President Day falls in. Whatever month president, because it's always been white president. White president. That might that might be it. Yeah, except for you know our boy Barack, but basically everybody else. Yeah, but wow, one guy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's man. what I'm saying. Like you know, out of 45 presidents, you have one. That ain't good possibilities, homie. That ain't good stats. That's that. That's that's. But that's like, what, that's the white heritage month. Oh, uh, white president is like. Yeah, my, that might be pre president. What are we doing, president? President. We get president's day off. Day? We, we get do. Day off. Yeah. I don't know if I got. Yeah, day we do. Off you do, bro. Down. You do. For real? Yeah. We get President Day off. Well, we get Labor Day make off. Fourth of July. We get Columbus Day. For, exactly. Like, we get, Columbus Day is a white heritage. That's, that's the, I'm about to say it right there. Columbus Day. That's a white. That guy was white. He was yeah. white, right? European, European guy. European guy. Right? Yeah. So, 
He was Italian. Yo, uh, who's who's the small guy? Cause they Italian, right? Christopher Columbus. The t- I don't know. I remember. I, I think he's Italian. Fucking, aren't you like a political yeah, yeah, science no, major? All that shit. You should know all that shit. No. <laughs> he was a European for sure, because he goes to Spain to yeah. ask Spain to fund his trip. But he was Ita- I want to say Italian or English. No, he was in English. Dude, I, Italian, right? See, I know my stuff. Sh- you should. Yeah, because he, he has Ferdinand and uh, what's her name to fund. Yeah, he was he was Italian and he asked Ferdinand from Spain to mm-hmm. fund his trip. And I the didn't queen spent it. Okay, so. For Isabella. Damn, funded. but Hispanics don't have shit. Yeah, it's whack. These, just, these motherfuckers, they think that we just mow lawns and shit. That's mm-hmm. all we do, huh? Pretty much. Uh, we and clean houses. And build the wall. <laughs> we do have Taco Tuesday. Get the fuck In out the out words of, here. of LeBron. Taco Tuesday. Wait, 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 wait. We have Taco Tuesday for real? This is the thing. People celebrate all the time. Uh, that's a real thing or that's a bullshit Instagram No, that's thing? a real thing. Yeah. Uh, is this like Women Crush Wednesday? Or is this like a yeah, real... Yeah, like that, like that. Okay, but Women Crush Wednesday, that's like a... That's a no, social no, media thing. You know what's funny? is that Taco... Like, for example, my school, every Tuesday, religiously... Why do you think all these Mexican places oh, give you like specials and tacos on Tuesdays? For real? Yeah. I did not know that. Facts. Okay. Well, shit. Well, I run out of things to say, man. Yeah, I, th- I was thinking something like that. I don't know. This went I off. I run out of things to say. You went off. That was, um, that was a pretty good rant for me. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I still I stand behind it. Do you disagree with what I said about the cheating? Of like, course, if you have a perfect... Of course, of course you disagree. disagree. So you think guys should just, like, fuck it, just take the fight? Exactly. But the fight, it didn't benefit nobody. No, it doesn't really. Well, it shows you, it shows you how much of a man you are. Wait, why? Why did I show you how much of a man I am? Chris, you know Chris what, doesn't fight for no reason. No, I was fighting. Oh, all right, you know, get get the mic, get the mic. Uh-huh. Chris doesn't fight. I was period. fighting for no reason. No, get the mic. Oh my I God. like that you admit that. Okay. I was fighting for no reason just because my hormones were everywhere and I needed a fight. And he took it like a champ. He didn't fight back. He didn't, you know, do anything. He just said, okay. And then he kept trying to make me laugh. And then I apologized. And then I told him that I'll make it up to him. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm just kidding. She's gonna buy. <laughs> she's buying me coffee, you weirdos. <laughs> yeah, with coffee. See, this is why I say there's too many good boyfriends out here in these streets. But if I was Chris, <laughs> I'd have been cheating like a motherfucker already. Thank you for coming, So this is I'm down. This is what I'm down is all about. If you need okay? This is what I'm down is all about. If you need relationship <laughs> advice, just hit up George. Yes. You know, JX, yes. Gutty VX, whatever, or the I'm down Instagram page. I think. I tell you to what, flourish, to flourish. I think I think I have the best relationship advice anyone can ever ask for. Well, they do say those who can't do teach, right? Exactly, exactly. And I'm gonna tell you why, guys. I'm gonna tell you why. So you know, I've, <laughs> and, and this is gonna be the last topic, right? Unless you come up to something else. I pride myself. Well, I, don't, I don't think I pride myself, but I constantly say, right? I don't. I do not ha- have any of the prerequisite pre pre requisites, requisites or um. I guess abilities to be in a relationship, right? So what do I mean by prereqs, right? So uh, you know we live in the United States, right? And I was telling your brother, cause I I, I met I met with your brother on Thursday, right? He's like, oh, you're sure? I'm like, you know what? I'm only sure in the United States. Okay, <laughs> if I go to Asia, if I go to India, I'm tall, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a so, grown man. So you know one of the prereqs out here in these streets is that you got to be a tall man. Right for these girls, because these girls they want to feel protected. They want to feel, you know, like yo, my my man got me. If anything goes down, my man got me. I'm five five. You know what I'm saying? I can't. I don't got you. You know what I'm saying? And even if I was tall, I don't know how to fight really. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> she's gonna. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna get awkward. So it's gonna so get awkward. Exactly. It's gonna get real awkward real quick. So you gotta know how to fight, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that's one number two i don't have no monies you know what i'm saying I, like you like to say monies right i don't got no monies i'm broke broke out here in these streets you know what i'm saying i only got money for me i barely you know got saying? money for me yeah you know when you say something twice you know you know <laughs> i'm telling fact. you look man out here i feel like the prereqs uh for any man out here is number one have your money right once you have your money right you conquer the whole world period you hear me no girl wants to be with no bro guy Period. You get me? And I know girls like to say shit like, oh, well, Money he has to have matter. at least goals. You know, Money gu- don't matter. girls, yeah, girls love ha. saying that it don't matter, but that's that's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Ha. It all it always matters. So that's that's number one. And and always have your money right, number one, because even if you're ugly and you don't know how to dress, the shit don't matter. Girls don't give a fuck. Yo, 
girls don't care about guys that have abs. They don't care if you have a nice hairline. They don't care about none of that shit. So you're saying my hair looks nice for no reason. It doesn't matter. Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah. Okay, and you have no haircut. You have no tape right now. But I have beautiful curls. It don't matter. But you have no tape. But I have beautiful curls. I'm saying you have no tape. You, look, I'm telling you right now, every guy who goes to the club has a tape. If you got no tape, he's getting no play that day. Trust me, bro. You don't need to worry about that. Thank you God, know what I love the club. I you don't need to worry about life. that. Look, look, I'm going to put you on a perfect example right now. You know why you have a girlfriend? I'm perfect example right now. Look what you got on right now. You're a well-dressed guy. Well-dressed individual right now. Sweat you got pants. shorts. You got on Yeezys. Nice they're hoodie. Fake, it don't matter. They're fake. Nobody knows that they're fake. Who cares? <laughs> they're still nice shoes, right? So I say you're a well-dressed guy, right? You're above average height. Right, especially in the U.S. U.S. is five nine. We researched this many times. You're what, uh, five ten and a half yeah. that we did in the gym last time, right? Got that, you drive got a that nice half. car. You drive a nice car. You have a Fiat, nice color, leather interior. Your radio works. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your, your AC works. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, you're doing good. You have a you have two degrees, so that tells girls that this bitch is smart. <laughs> They're looking at you like, God damn, this motherfucker, this motherfucker right here is I'm smart. A bad girl. You I'm a bad, bad bitch. Girl. You a bad bitch out here in these streets. They're looking at you like, damn, this nigga's smart. Girls love a smart guy because you already surpassed. You know what I'm saying? The prereq part. You know what I mean? Like you look well put together. Like you're good. Everything else, you you have two degrees. You're a smart guy. You have a good office job. You have goals. You're you're a Christian man. You know how many girls we had a real Christian man. <laughs> I'm about a real, I'm talking about a real Christian man, cause you know we know about these. Real? Yeah, you know we know about these Christian men out here that ain't really Christian. You know what I'm saying? There's deacons <laughs> and pastors out here that are, bro. They fucking the congregation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you so, taking shots at everybody today? No, no. So I'm just saying. No so, you know, mercy. No mercy. So I'm I'm telling you that's why you have a girlfriend. If you had it. Look, let me tell you something, bro. If you were shorts, if you were bad dressed and had no money, you're done. <laughs> you are, f- bro. The only way you get a girlfriend, bro, is if like <laughs> I got money, bro. No, bro. Like you had like a like you know like um a lot of guys that grow up with like a sweetheart, uh-huh. like a little girl, or whatever. And they made it work forever. Exactly. It's like yo, that girl got played, and the guy was always there. She's like, oh, you know what, fuck it, he's here. <laughs> I might as well just give him some like pussy. Like a pity, like a pity. Yeah, man. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And she gives him some pussy, and he not he shoots her. Clothes up and now she's pregnant now she's like well fuck it now we gotta make it work you know what i'm saying i'm telling you right now chris god bless you my friend god bless you so i'm trying to tell you that's why you have a girlfriend now bro let me tell you there's guys out here that want girlfriends and it's rough you know what i'm saying it's rough out here for real you know what i'm saying <laughs> shit their car yo this is facts yeah this, this is, is like facts. chronic look i'm gonna tell yo, you one thing sure right this now. is recording because this cannot not uh, be recording the, actually your camera's about to die though like really soon it's recording no, it's recording um it ca- yeah it is yeah it is i can see from it you can still it's still recording okay it's, it's, low it's just low but uh, you want to connect the charger real quick it won't reach so oh, don't man. worry about it just yeah, finish yeah. the rant yeah, i'm loving this <laughs> all right i did it all right, so le- let me kind of top this off, right? So those are the pre. I myself, and this is not no pity party for me. You know, you know how motherfuckers like to fish for compliments, mm. like oh, let me wear this shit. Nah, that's not, that's not what I'm trying to do. I don't have any of those prerequisites. You look like Drake, like a bum. You know, I'm you not lying. I had Louboutins. a, I had a. Don't point that out. That's stupid. You were in Louboutins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can't see that in the video. Don't point like, that out. You point out my Yeezys. You wearing Louboutins. Doesn't matter, Chris. That's not what we're talking about here. We're, we're, tr- we're trying to get to a more deeper conversation here, okay? What I'm trying to say is that... that what, what I'm trying to say... No, no. What I'm trying to say here is that you have you have the prereqs, right? And once well, a you girl... you have red bottoms, so... Shut up and let me finish the... <laughs> let me let me before the camera dies. You have the prereqs. Now, once a girl sees past the prereqs, like, okay, cool. Like, like I, I, could, I could see me with this guy. And they get to know. They realize that you have a degree. You have all these shits going through. You're good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I look at it like, yo, me, bro, listen, bro. If you want to fight, bro, if you trip behind me, you think I'm going to help you up? I'm not helping you up. <laughs> I want you to struggle to get back I'm up. I'm pointing and laughing. Yes, because, you know, I always say this. If I ever get the opportunity to be rich, I hope to God I never change up and I stay in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Like I stay in a little like like a 100 square feet little apartment. You know what I'm saying? I have like so you want like, to shrink half, from the place half, you have now. Half, half the half the apartments is filled with clothes and bullshit. You know, because it's like real tight in there. I want to be I want to be rich broke one day. You know what I'm saying? And I think that like you know you have taken a mantle right uh, a responsibility uh, to to have one day a wife and kids and be the man to look after them 
and all of that comes with the values that that are surpassed your prerequisites and, and the little shit in between, right? All of that comes with you though. I, I'm not the guy to like uh to want like I don't want I don't look and be like, damn, I want a wife one day, I want kids one day. Like I don't look at that because I be thinking like shit looks rough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that life just looks rough. Yeah, it doesn't look appealing to so, you. So so because of that, I, I don't have the sensibilities or like I'm not boyfriend material, in other words. That doesn't mean that I'm a hoe. I'm not out here. You know what I'm saying? I've been I've been uh not a how you not celibate like because I want to be celibate celibate because I just get no play you get me that that that's I get I don't know how do you want to say that the girl's gonna hit you up right now no as I was gonna say that when you said Drake I had a girl DM me the other day saying okay little Drake right and I was like hold up like I haven't got a DM in such a long time I started thinking to myself man if this was back in the day out of out of that where the men I'm like this is how I know. I'm not made for this. Like, this is how I know, like, I'm not, I'm, th- I'm like, this is how I know I'm not made for that life, though, because I, I tried it, I, you know what I'm saying, I, I, it's done for you. It's, it's not for me, you get me? Like, the whole relationship is just not for me, you get me? Like, it's not, I don't even want to wheel in something to, like, just have for a little while. So what makes you think that I would want to win something that I would have for a long time? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so this might be a 24-year-old immature talking. Who knows? You get me? Hold these words against me if I ever go against them. Fact. But I think that I've been a pretty good proponent of somebody who does what they say. Would you say so? Yeah. I, I think so yeah. far I haven't gone back yeah, you, on... You put your money where your mouth is. Right. I, I don't think I go back uh, on too many of the things that I usually uh, Until you got say. Pregnant, then you have to try to make it work. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, and hey shit <laughs> i just want to let y'all know you know if you're watching this and you feel enlightened you have something in your chest today huh I, a little bit you know what i'm saying you, you feel a little relieved you uh you felt like damn you learned a lesson today you know what i'm saying you you felt um broken and we fixed you and we fixed you know what I'm <laughs> or if you thought we were stupid stupid if you thought we were imbeciles imbecile imbecile there's no teeth whatever man <laughs> that's the whole point you see <laughs> you, you see what i mean it's like, a good offset this is a good offset period period i, I find it so annoying i, find it so I annoying. agree with you but this is a good offset so you're the smart guy i'm the kind of dumb guy you know what i'm saying like, you're, you're like the, the good stand-up guy i'm the like savage the, yeah from time to time you know what i'm saying no, always Not from, i would say from time to time did you just miss the last 20 minutes of this that wasn't too bad man anyways this is i'm down we thank you guys for watching we appreciate you guys Until next time, 